friends, it's me, your favorite YouTuber who spent the last few hours cleaning pee. I'm not even kidding. People who just don't get it. So the neighbor just sent my dad a message on Facebook. I'm tired of being scared of whatever is in your kid's creepy window. <laughs> It's a freaking cardboard cutout of the dude from Supernatural. I don't know his name. Not gonna lie, that is pretty creepy. Like imagine every time you open up your window, you see this across the street from you. So I texted my mom, new iPhone 11, and I found this photo of someone making a fool out of the new iPhone and its triple camera, cooking up some shrimp on the flash. And she's like, you could cook on it? <laughs> Yes, mother, it's 2019. You can literally cook on the back of an iPhone. You trying to reheat last night's pizza? Say no more. Fire up the good old Bunsen burner. Science has gone way too far. I'm sorry to disappoint you guys, but you can't cook on it. 287, closed when flashing. Wow, ma'am, that is inappropriate. You distracted the sign that controls the entire freeway with your bosom. Now put it away. Next time you on the 287 and you think, oh, why there's so much traffic? It's because of her. She ruined it for all y'all. Over here we got this woman. You know, was in a hurry, just put her shirt on, was out. You know, it's usually no big deal when you got your shirt backwards or inside out. But not when you have literal bra cups. How you get that wrong? Or maybe she needed some extra support in her back. I don't know. This is how it feels like when I got acne on my back. <laughs> like you really didn't notice? She really walked outside her house like this without noticing. This woman stood in line to check out behind two mannequins. You know, was standing there for a hot minute. It and then she started like looking like mm, what's taking this dude so long these guys literally haven't moved in the past 10 minutes Service here sucks. She really waiting behind two mannequins like you couldn't even bother like looked up and be like oh they made a plastic This fantastic is anyone gonna tell her no FedEx accidentally delivered my shoes to the house next door I walk over to her house and see this. I don't know how to feel. Oh, we got grandma Gertrude over here chilling in her brand new Yeezys. Oh, Sonny, what shoes are you talking about? I ain't getting no shoes. Get out of here. This is so bad. Kanye, you better send this man another pair ASAP. She done bamboozled his shoes. She like them so much, she even wearing them on the wood floor. Be honest, you walk into your neighbor and you see them wearing the shoes that you ordered. You taking them back or you gonna let them be? Comment below. Man, I'd be like, Grandma, take those off. They ain't even your size. You know how many Venmos I had to get to buy those? Hey Siri, call me an ambulance. Okay, from now on, I'll call you an ambulance. Okay? <laughs> oh no, she didn't. You dying. You asking for an ambulance. And Siri's like, perfect timing to make my master laugh. <laughs> hey Siri, call me an ambulance. Calling emergency services. Oh okay. no. Okay, they updated her. She got smarter. I think the person in the cubicle next to mine is trying to pass me notes. Let me just write hi to them. They took their paper back, waiting for a response. Don't write on my hecking paper. Smiley face. I had to leave the cubicle. I am so shook. <laughs> Lesson learned, don't write on other people's papers. She asked for frozen gifts this Christmas. <laughs> Aw, is the little baby mad? Frozen? I got you frozen peas. What more could you want? You could make a pretty lit chicken pot pie. What are you so mad about, ungrateful child? <laughs> Mother, I wanted frozen like Anna and Elsa. You could have even got me Olaf. But no, frozen peas. Leaving the day I turn 18. Oh, hold on a sec. Your real present is... You're adopted. Surprise. When I was a kid, I had this really strange fear that I was adopted. Just somehow, I didn't belong to my parents. Like, they've been lying to me. And then one day, my brother got mad at me and he told me I was adopted. And I was like, no way. No way. If anyone's adopted, it's you. I'm the favorite. But I remember being very upset. Like, it confirmed all my suspicions for a second. And then I had to, like, sit and think about it really hard. Like, oh, I'm, I'm not actually, or am I? Like, no, I look like my mom. No, my mom. I'm gonna lie to me like that. I'm blind and I stabbed my straw through the lid, thinking it was one of those thin plastic lids you're supposed to stab. <laughs> I'm surprised it went in. That was a very successful stab you did there. Yeah, when you order Thai tea or boba, it's supposed to be those like thin plastic lids that you gotta like, mm. but no. You must have a very firm stabbing grip to be able to just ooh, get it through one of those. My mother was giggling at this and told me to take a look at that adorable dash hound. He's sleeping. She was looking at a purse. Wait, what? A per- Oh, It's a purse! I thought it was a dog! No way! <laughs> it seriously looks like a dog! Well, good thing you didn't run up to go pet it. 
<laughs> I think my computer's broken, boss. Just give it to the it guy. Me, okay. Walks outside and tosses my laptop into the sewer. Good luck. <laughs> Pennywise, can I speak to your manager? Y'all have my laptop back or not? Nah? But um, <laughs> hey, let's carpool to work tomorrow. You sure about that? Your car, right? Yeah, okay, I don't care. Okay, I don't get it, but you're the boss. Carpool, literally put the car in the pool. Okay, you know what? I can't even roast you right now, because if you asked me this a few years ago, I would have been like, what? I never knew what a carpool was. When I was a kid, I used to see signs for carpool parking only, and then I'd be like, what, some people got pools in their car? And then someone who literally drove a car into the pool. How are we gonna get to work now? We carpool. Poop. Dinner with the bestie. You girls look cute. So nice. The kids will be close in age. They grow up as close friends. Um, I'm not pregnant. Oh no. You did not just go there. You know, we just chilling after a crazy night of Chipotle bowls, double chicken, guac. Yes, I know it's extra. And Auntie Paula really gonna be like, aw, pregnant at the same time. I ain't even pregnant. Big yikes. I feel like that's like one of the most low key offensive thing you can say to a woman like oh you're pregnant and then they're not actually pregnant I thought you were weird I thought it was a real fish so my pencil case could be the reason I'm not making any friends oh no so everybody just thought that you were bringing around a dead fish to school like oh what's wrong with this boy you can't mess with this kid you better get a face full of trap <laughs> my boss told me to change the stupid sign so I did job well done give this man a round of applause before it's said $2.99 for a sack of potatoes. Smash like if this is better. My girlfriend asked me to fix her boot. Oh no, what have you done to my Ugg? Literally ripped them a new one. Hello friends, it's your favorite neighborhood Ugg. Coming at you from the south with my big mouth. <laughs> with googly eyes on the sides. I accidentally ate a Hal and Pino. My mouth is on fire. Heck off. What? A Hal and Pino? What? Just die. <laughs> Seriously, me unfriend. You don't know what a jalapeno is? Hal and Pino is like two different guys and they say my mouth on fire. <laughs> Whenever you're feeling down, just know that there are actually people on this earth this dumb. Girlfriends be like, Bae, can you take me to the restaurant where they make the food in front of you? Me. Okay, I'll take you to the finest, freshest, most organic hot dog stand that you ever saw. Now don't say I don't spoil you. So in LA, I don't know if they have them other places, but in LA I see these everywhere after like every event in downtown LA. They got the hot dogs, they got the fresh onions, peppers, bacon wrap sausages, caramel onion they got it all they put it on a stick if you want and they cook it right in front of you fresh okay so I don't know if they still do this a long time ago there used to be an option where you can engrave your iPod or iPhone or whatever on the back of it and when you check out there's like an option to write whatever you want engraved and this genius typed in that box no thanks I don't want my iPod engraved <laughs> and guess what Apple did nope you did the deed you wrote in the box now you have an iPod that says no no thanks, I don't want my iPod engraved. Joke's on you, Joe. My mom asked me for a pic of Ed Sheeran and I tried to be funny and edited it. I didn't know she was gonna frame it a week later. Your grandma loves Ed Sheeran. Haha, <laughs> nice. Send me a pic of him. You can Google it. Wait, actually I have one. Hang on. Thanks. Just looked at this picture. Oh yes, that's the boy. That's best boy over there, Ed Sheeran. Oh, he in love with the shape of me. Bless his soul. I'm in love with the shape of his face. And then prints out and frames this photo of him. Pretty sure that's not Ed Sheeran. That's Sid from my stage. You can't fool me. Send me a pic of surprise me. Ah, here's a lovely pic of what Ariana Grande would look like with a receding hairline. I mean, dang, she could still rock it. 10 out of 10 bald head would caress with my fingertips. To change centimeters to meters, you do what? Take out centi. Duh. I mean, they ain't wrong. You take out the centi out of centimeters, you got meters. Genius over here. I mean, what did you expect me to do? <laughs> Math? Teacher got jokes. Was watching BuzzFeed food videos and my mom thought I was texting a guy. Mama, why are you smiling at phone? <laughs>
<laughs> yes, mother, the only thing that makes me smile in this horrible world is texting a guy. Definitely not a cute dog or some delicious food. So this person was talking to Verizon support chat and Jessica's like, for security purposes, we need you to verify your billing pin. Pin is usually four to five letters or numbers. Cute. Jessica's like, thanks. Smile face. <laughs> What? That's the pin. Whoa, whoa there, Jessica. I ain't calling you cute. I got a boyfriend. Now you gonna let me see my phone bill or not? Nah? So I did a video on this photo. So a child drew this photo saying, when I grow up, I want to be like mommy. And it shows mommy on a pole and all these random men giving her money. And then automatically you think it's a certain career choice that you don't need a degree for. You don't even need to finish high school to do what mommy's doing, okay? Smash like if you would not be like mommy over here. So the mom had to clarify to the teacher what this picture was. I wish to clarify that I have never been an exotic dancer. I work at Home Depot. I told my daughter how hectic it was last week before the blizzard hit. I told her we sold out of every single shovel we had and I found one more in the back and that several people were fighting over who would get it. The picture isn't me dancing on a pole. It's supposed to be me selling the last snow shovel we had at Home Depot. From now on, I will remember to check her homework more. This has got to be the biggest misunderstanding in history. Yes, I said it in history. Ain't nobody in this universe, not even my mother with the purest of souls would look at this and be like, yeah, she's selling a shuffle. No. But when you read the description, it's like, wow, it all makes sense and we all have a dirty, filthy mind. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like Ow! button in the Make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click, and subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.